after you were at Stanley Media, what was what was next for you? Oh, right. So I just I fell back into inking. The company collapsed, and I was like, oh. But I had a project that I'd been working on uh, where I was like, I'm going to finish this. And I did my own my own comic called Skate with a friend of mine, Matt Mora. And uh, we published it. And I took it to San Diego. And everyone was like, and it took me like a year to do because I had all these other assignments. And uh, everyone was like, great, when's the second issue? And I was like, I forgot to do the second <laughs> issue. Like, I was just like, it was so, it was so hard to pull teeth yeah. to get the first issue out. But I was like, yeah, I gotta, I gotta get this out. So I sent it around at some point to different publishers, and um, Platinum Studios was one of the publishers that contacted me back, and they said uh, we love this. And I was like, will you publish it? And they were like, no. <laughs> but they were like, but we need you to draw this some other thing for us. And they were like, here's three scripts. I mean, the deal with them was they were trying to get movies made. Yeah. <laughs> they eventually didn't get a movie. Uh, it was a uh, Cowboys and Aliens. Oh yeah, made so, Daniel but uh, yeah, absolutely. But um, but this one was called The Weapon, and it was um, it was like a kung fu kind of like a story set in Hawaii, and uh, I just put everything I could into it. You know, like uh, for ten dollars a page, I was just <laughs> like, let's do this. Burning turn. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, I mean, I worked really hard at yeah. it, and then. Um, but the book came out and uh, it did pretty well. And then uh, the writer had written the series like a few years before. And I had to get in touch with him to find something out. I didn't know what one particular thing was. I got in touch with him and it turns out that he was working over at Marvel. And I was still doing inking and stuff like that at Marvel. But I couldn't get anybody interested in my pencils. Yeah. And then uh, he was working on this one story. He asked for me to, to work on it. I started doing stuff for that. At the same time, I was doing all the inking, and I was just double-timing that for about three or four years. Like, oh, wow. I get a penciling assignment, and I do that. And then I get an inking assignment, and I do that. So I was inking over George Perez and Keith Giffen at the same time that I was trying to build up a... Penciling repertoire. Yeah, penciling repertoire. And uh, eventually, like, uh, I, I ditched it all. I started doing storyboards for about a year and still inking here and there. But um, uh, my editor on some things that I had done for Marvel Adventures line, the kids line, uh, moved over to Deadpool and uh, he asked me to do some stuff there, and that's how I started working on Deadpool. It was the first story was a '80s flashback, and uh, it was a lot of fun. And then there was some confusion about the. I mean, actually, it's in this book here. Like, so oh, like yeah. it was an '80s flashback kind of thing. And uh, let's see if I can. Yeah, here it is. So we did like uh, a whole bunch of stories, like. Uh, where uh, J. Jonah Jameson. Yeah, J. Jonah Jameson's there, and like Deadpool, and like a you know like an '80s kind of costume, and um, uh, it was Tony Stark was drinking himself to death, and Deadpool is responsible for him not drinking anymore. <laughs> so I'm sure that went over real well. Oh, actually, it did. Well, it was funny. We were doing this story, and uh, the the when I handed in some of the pencils or the the pages, the writer was like. It was Jerry Duggan and Brian Posehn, and, and uh, they just started at Marvel like three months before. Yeah, and they were like, Jerry. oh, absolutely, they're both fantastic. And they were like, we're going to get fired. Like, <laughs> and I was like, well, let's go out in a blaze of glory. So, And then we just did, we did an, a 70s one, a 60s one, 50s, you know, 90s one. Like we just kept like pumping them out. And then... <laughs> That really triggered like a lot of like fun for me trying to ape different styles. Yeah, like that was a lot of work. So, so that's yeah, why you're yeah. a chameleon. You can do it all. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you can yeah, see yeah, even yeah. as as the issues yeah, kind of yeah. progress, it's yeah, yeah. There was different things in there. Different, yeah, I mean, I did a different thing for the Deadpool 2099. Like, like I tried to do like a, I did essentially like a 16 panel grid. Wow. On that one. Like 16 for the panel grid? 16 panel. Yeah, every page wow. had, it was broken into fours. So uh, if you look it's closely, beautiful. like uh, every page is broken into four panels. Uh, you know, like a. Yeah. And then, of course, I would play around with it within that. So, But uh, yeah, we did a whole bunch of really great stuff. I was really proud of it. So That's amazing. Yeah, we did one issue where it was all in crayon. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That I I penciled it all, and then I sent it over to the colorist, and he was like, "Can I do this in crayon?" And I was like, "Yeah." 
And the editor was like, of course. And uh, yeah, he printed them out. He, there's a picture of him like on a coffee shop, like just like putting it all in crayon. And I was like, this is great. That's like so. the dream job for a kindergartner. Oh, absolutely. You're, you're like, I'm never going to, like, yeah, this, yeah. This, I get to do this for a living. Yeah. When I get older. Oh, well, that's the greatest thing about Deadpool is that really, like, any anything that you thought of, you it's, could do. Yeah. And you weren't going to break the character. I thought for sure some of these things were just going to break. Like, you know, people would be like, all right, I'm I done. And I'm done. Yeah. But no, it just really, yeah, like, for, fed into it. So even by the end of the time that I was there, when I did the Deadpool 300 cover, like, I realized I was responsible for like twenty of them. Do you know what I mean? Wow. Like, so it was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean that's a, yeah. a testament to how much you worked and how long. Yeah, 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 there. yeah. I did it for five and a half years. Yeah, yeah. So, that's, that's but Deadpool is great. Time. I remember even like I started working before the movies came out, and I remember sitting on a panel, and uh, these people were just coming up, and they were like, "We want a Deadpool movie." <laughs> like, you know, when they would come to the audience, you know, the microphone. They would go like, what's your question? They'd be like, when's the Deadpool movie going to come out? And you know, I was like, you're never going to get a Deadpool movie. And then the, and the next person would come up and be like, well, when the Deadpool movie comes out, I totally want it to be rated R. And I was like, you're <laughs> never going to get a rated R Deadpool movie? Are you high? So I was like, it's never going to happen. Like, I remember literally like, t- and then sure enough, like two years later, like there it was. You're like, and oh, I was like, here's the test footage. Like, Oh, yeah. Well, it was amazing. Yeah, the test footage got leaked somehow. And uh, leaked, quote unquote. Yeah, yeah. Well, leaked, you know. <laughs> and then like uh, someone got it out there. God bless that person because it worked out it well. Worked out like, really they, well. Yeah, it was beautiful. I mean, it was just a great, great project. And, like, Deadpool was just amazing. The movie was awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, the thing about Deadpool, there's no year one. Like, you know, it's you meet the character in res. Yeah. um, You know, in the middle of his own story. So, like, uh, um, yeah, I I was amazed that they got, like, an origin story out of him. And then the second one was great, too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to the third one. Let's do it. (laughs) I know, right? Let's go. It's interesting because even though Rob kind of created Deadpool. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, he did create Deadpool. Him and, and um, Fabian. Fabian. He has a, yeah, yeah. They both created him. But it was, I think he really kind of got his personality more on like Joe Kelly's run. Like, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Like, every person that worked on Deadpool added added, added a lot to it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there were even times when Deadpool was from Ohio and not Canada. Yeah. So there's a whole bunch. If you actually look at the the arc of the the character it's not until frank thierry comes along mm-hmm. that you get the deadpool that everybody knows now oh really yeah like he's still cracking wise cracks and but uh and he's still kind of like crazy but he's not bugs bunny mm-hmm. like uh the joe kelly kind of stuff he's kind of bugs bunny yeah and then uh and then frank really grounds him in like uh really like a, a pathos that uh, you know a uh, a gritty kind of world mm-hmm. that uh, worked out. And then uh, Gail Simone also went off of it, too. So I think that, like, between... Be, around that time, around 2003 or something like that, he really cemented into what I think everybody thinks of as Deadpool now. Yeah. But it took it took a while. Like, um, you know, he wasn't ugly at first. Like, yeah. you know, we never saw him with a mask for, like, a couple years. Yeah. You know, and then you find out he's hideously ugly. And then, like, there was a time period where he's, like, dating Siren. And that and it made no sense to me whatsoever. <laughs> it's just like, that one is crazy. I put her in the wedding when I did the wedding cover. Like, I put her in as one of the bridesmaids because I was like, this makes no, no sense, sense that she's that she was ever dating him. And nobody ever brings it up. <laughs> so and she, like, they never talk it. about it yeah. anymore. You know what I mean? Like, like, even when she's, like, floating around in a different book. Like, they no, never bring up. Yeah, no, no, we're good. No, we're good. We do, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. We all have that one crazy ex, and we're like, oh, yeah, what yeah, were yeah. we thinking? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. 